they cannot sit inside the jail and uh, negotiate and come or you have to come even for the chief minister to help you have to come out and discuss you cannot sit in jail somebody is provoking them not to sign the uh, do the bonds i have told the boys today if required i will also pay the bond there is no issue i will issue it immediately but then you know just dust pollution is one there is a lot of issues dust pollution is one issue they want employment that's a second yeah. issue but we are all there the government is the government makes up its mind to give employment to the youth I can take the initiative in the guidance of the chief minister. There also one concern is that they don't have any health facilities there in the area. See, I have gone there for elections. Oh. I have campaigned in that area. Is it in your constituency? It's in my father's constituency. Oh. I have personally campaigned. I know each and every all these people. My ex punch is also in jail, which I was not aware of. I was told only in the morning, and I have spoken to honourable chief minister. He said, ask them to see. They have to also come out. They can't say we will fulfil all the demands. Others we are not coming out. That should not be the approach. I think somebody is provoking them. It's not right. It's important that they come out, and we are all there to support them and sympathize with all their needs and what their requirement. But they cannot uh, blackmail the government by sitting in jail. While talking about 108 services, he stated there is no permanent employment as it is a hire and fire service because it is a high pressure job. He also said that another 10 ALS ambulances will be added by 15th May. and well trained personnel with a minimum experience of 3 years will be employed for the same all the accident hotspots are covered and also every day i have asked them to put a system in place where every day they will be reporting to my office by email exactly how many patients have been uh, calls they have attended to how many calls were received by the call center how many calls that they attended to and how much time it took and if it anything crosses beyond 15 to 20 minutes i need to know the reason why every 108 has to work overtime and efficiently and it's not a easy task they have to be disciplined they can do union they can go where they want it is not going to bother me because ultimately that service is started not for somebody to put a union in place but for saving lives taken that's why i asked for reshuffle of the management that was looking after 108 go with immediate effect all the three people i have asked i want new people because i cannot work with these old people who have allowed this to come to this level and simply you cannot blame the government for uh, negligence it is one zero that has to do but same time whatever the shortfalls whatever they need from the government will be presented by me to the chief minister and i'm sure honorable chief minister he has told me to deliver on 108 on priority and i will live up to his expectation but we are spending money on free medicine and it should be made available there is no question of not being made available So I just want to assess what is the what is it being the medicine that are provided at OPD level? Why are complaints coming that people are getting things from out? All these things have to be looked into. What is actually happening in GMC? Right from structuring the functioning of OPD days, to everything will be looked into. I just need about 30 days to understand what happened and then start putting things on track. Video journalist Sarvesh Veluskar from Panjim for H7.